salutations fellow YouTubians. My name is Terry Andrews Jr., also known as the J5 Guru. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, assemble one of these. Uh, I've done a few of these, so you may want to pay attention. Uh, I probably know what I'm talking about. So alignment is very critical on these. You'll see later in the video I'll show you, uh, you know, an example of what happens if you, you know, what can go wrong. Um, but yeah. So, and this one here, I just got these on here. I haven't got them tightened down yet, but uh, otherwise they are together. So, uh, all right. All right. I have a granite block. If you don't have a granite block, get one. <laughs> or find a very flat surface. Um, and your regular tabletop, yeah, may not be flat enough. Uh, grab a, you know, a... You should have a steel rule, straight edge, something. Determine that the table is as flat as it can possibly be. Uh, I'm using this granite block because, uh, well, I have it. I hold it up from the uh, the shop down in the basement, uh, two flights of stairs. Yeah, that uh, that was fun. This thing's probably about 100 pounds. Uh, anyhow, so here we go. So with these things, when you go, you have to align them. Uh, I have all these screws in here uh, loosely um, into this front plate so I can actually move I can move them slide them on that front plate that's problematic when you go to assemble this thing because if you're just kind of eyeballing it they may not be right uh, and let me show you what will happen if they are not right so I have here, I have a piece of 3 8 inch um, rod. Uh, I don't think it's precision rod, but now you will notice the holes on these are larger. Um, yeah, they, I had to modify them because uh, we made a mistake when we ordered the parts and had them cut uh, to 400 thousandths. They should have been 375. Uh, yeah, so improvise, adapt, overcome. Came up with this solution. This uses this uh, bushing, this flange bushing, which um, corrects the problem and doesn't mean we have to go and have all these parts recut. Uh, these two, uh, the flange plate and the quarter inch plate. Anyhow, so I take this threaded or this uh, 3 8 rod here and I go through the existing 375 holes and it is a pretty precise fit there. And you just, you got to kind of wiggle it, rock and roll it. Now, the length of this rod, coincidentally, is very close to that of the width of the shoulder tube. Uh, so, anyhow, on this side, um, yeah, you have your, you know, your laser or your toolbox, this side, the tool arm. Now, it's very important that these be lined up properly. I don't know if you can see in the video, but you can actually see that this rod is not concentric with that hole. Okay, now let me try to move this. Uh, I'll tell you what, just to exaggerate it, I'll move this rod out here and you will see this rod move back and forth. I'll try to hold one side still and just move the other side. See that? That is because these plates are moving with each other like this. Okay, they're moving. Yep, they're not lined up. And if you put it together not lined up, the shoulder tube and everything else is not going to be lined up. So this upper torso will not be straight. It will be off to one side or the other. The shoulder tube, yeah, you, it will be noticeably out of alignment. Uh, and putting everything else together is going to be a pain because nothing's going to, everything's going to be out. Uh, and you don't want that. So yours is going to have 375 holes in here, which you're going to slide through here. Once you do that, that will align these back uh, circular portions here. It will align the two plates to each other. Okay, so I have these bushings I have to insert in now. And you may be able to see that they are nowhere near uh, where they need to be. They... Yeah, there, that's, there's a big gap down there. So, 
what I do is I align this. Put this one in here. And now I come over here and I do the same thing. And you might have to play with it a little. You might have to force it. Okay. You will have to force it in my case. There we go. All right. So now we know that these two, these are now all coaxial to each other. Okay. This is not, this can no longer move. Okay. Because there's, it's a self locking, self centering. Yep. Once you get it like that. So there's that. Now I take a quarter inch, uh, 250 thousandths diameter screw or bolt and I go through here where the linear actuator goes and I put this in okay and again this is just a way for me to keep everything aligned okay just like that okay there we go now I can take I can take my oh yeah Yep, I'm taking my one, two, three block and I'm sliding down there and I can see that that, that bolt is parallel to this. So I know that these are not shifted. If they were shifted, that bolt would be either, it would be one way or the other. So there we go there. All right. As I said, this will be tight, but you should still be able to spin this back back piece here okay sorry <laughs> squeaky squeaky so I got this little tool here it's a little ratcheting tool I have a uh, 330 seconds um, Allen key I have a nine millimeter um, wrench to grab onto the hexes for the 832 lock nuts that are down in there. Okay, so now I have all of these nice and straight. Now I want to make sure that there isn't any, that's why I'm using the granite block, make sure that one is not higher than the other, okay, and that they are in alignment with each other. This front plate is, you know, pretty much relatively floating. I just got these these screws in here uh, let me see uh, here we go. yeah you might be able to see these are these are loose yep so let me check my camera make sure okay still recording yay all right so here we go i'm just going to go ahead and go through this point out things where i think they should be noted so push this down I'm pushing the front plate against the surface of the granite plate along with these as I do them. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to this back one here. I'm going to use one of my fingers to push down on that front plate. I'm using my hand to press down on this plate and to hold both of them tight up against the granite plate. And now I'm going to take and just snug that rearmost screw. I'm going to come up here to this plate. I'm not going to do the most forward screw here. I'm going to come up to this plate and do the same thing. I'm pressing down on the front, pressing down on the side, and snug. Now I'm going to go to the center one. I'm going to do the same thing. Now I go to the the middle one in the back in the bottom and let me see I think it was this one yep I go to this one snug it up now I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna snug up this one right here okay and there we go good to go there now I'm gonna move to the other sorry so slotty 
<laughs> and move the other side. Gonna do the same thing. Gonna stand up here and get my wrench on here. I push down on the front, push down on the side, snug up that screw. Come up to the top one here on the double plate. Same thing. Go to the center. Go to this back one here. And go to this one. And now I go to the very front one do that. All right. So, how are we? Pretty good. I'm not seeing a problem with that. By the way, I used a square to align these. Align to the back side with the square. You want to keep them perpendicular to this surface, you know, to the the bottom uh, don't use the front the front's angled you have to use the back and the upper portion of the back is also angled don't ask me why some crazy man designed it that way <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna flip this over quick just see and oh, that is good all right so there we go there I don't know how high up that camera's seeing Okay, so, got that. Now I want to go through, I want to tighten these. Okay, now you're going to want to switch to your regular Allen socket. I've got this little thing here. It fits in here just enough to be able to get in here. And you're going to want to, do not try to tighten with this one. You will just strip these, the, the sockets of the heads out. Okay, you tighten it with the nut on the back side. And there's that one. I'm going to go up here and do this one. I'm going to go to the center one. You don't have to do it this way, but I like to be consistent. Okay, this center one. Don't go crazy when you're tightening these up because you'll snap the, uh, the fastener. There you go. If you don't have one of these, grab a 9mm wrench. It'll be a little bit more, you know, fiddly, but yeah, you'll be able to do it. Here the back same thing rinse and repeat oops wrong one there we go wanted that end one there we go go to the center one here Again, you're just using this to prevent the head from spinning. Do not use, do not try to tighten, tighten the screw head itself. You will strip it in a heartbeat. Here. All right, and then I go to the one furthest at the front. Tighten that. There we go. Now I can go ahead, put in my two final screws for this up here. Again, this is a bent sheet metal part, so you may need to tweak it to get the fastener to go in. Just like that, just like that. All right. Grab our 832. One way to get these in, make it easier, is you use your 9mm wrench, just like that. 
grab your driver, put the driver in, and then go in there like this. Tighten it till it stops and back off about a quarter turn. Okay, so this can still be moved. Okay, thing I prefer instead of trying to mess with uh, these, get yourself some hemostats if you don't have some. Uh, they are wonderful, wonderful. I, I have hemostats. I have one set of these, it's like over, uh, over 12 inches long. They're just, they're wonderful. Uh, got a locking mechanism in there for certain applications. But yeah, and there we go. And once you get that on there, now you can switch up. It just makes it easier. And tighten that up. Okay off a little bit let that loose all right now i'm going to take my one two three block I may or may not have but any good straight edge will work and just look to see that the aluminum is not coming out past the sides in my case it is not so i should be able to tighten that down again snug it first okay Again, you're okay to snug with this on the head of the screw, but do not try to torque it down with the head of the screw. These, are, these fasteners are just too small. Okay, so I'll go back, trust but verify. Looks good to me. Okay, come back here. Grab this, this, and tighten them up. There we go. Now it is reasonably, I mean, it, it is, it is aligned, okay, within, you know, a reasonable amount. I can get this back out, you know, this one here, again, it is tight. But there again, remember the plates can be, yep, they can be flared a little bit. Uh, but I can still turn it. It is tight, but that's okay. That means that everything is lined up good. <laughs> that's the main thing. Uh, okay, where is my, yep. So in my case, I have to take and pop one of these out. I come from the back side, push that back through. And then I can get under here like this, go from side to side till she pops loose for me here. There we go. You see, you got, yep, this side here, the same thing. Pop out those bushings. Again, yours won't have these. And now, yeah. And I can actually, I mean, it's, it's, you won't get exact, but I mean, you'll, you'll be able to see. I can take my one, two, three block and I can see that that is, that is actually, that's, yeah, that's perfect. There is no gap there. No gap there, which is surprising because these are flared a little bit. And if the angle's even slightly off, it can mess things up. 
this one here slightly off but there again it's just a matter of whether or not that plate yep that makes all the difference in the world right there so yeah so now you know that everything is aligned so now your upper torso is in proper alignment Here we go. Yep, solid. So I've got, yep, I got my uprights right. I would suggest though, if you want to be 100%, don't put the uprights on first and then use the two round pieces to, you know, to check it. Uh, but yeah, if you're off, this thing will like rock and roll. It, it'll like, you, you know, it'll like do that. And yeah, then you know something's wrong. Something's not lined up right. Uh, so there you go. That's the way I do it. That's the way I suggest, uh, you know, that, that, that you do it. It works. Uh, so there we go. All right. Terry Andrews Jr. J5 Guru saying bye for now. Go build something cool. And I hope that helped you out.